when it comes to handling objections you have to learn how to negotiate we have already seen that there can be different types of objections whether it is product or source or budget or price or that they are just stalling it and every objection needs its own response and when you are responding essentially you are negotiating so that you can move them from their position so that you can also move from your position and meet somewhere in the middle right and that is where i would like you to um, look at these particular videos that are given here okay these are really short segments and they have a lot of meaning and value. For instance, um, in this particular Stanford lecture, which you can find on YouTube, uh, the person who is actually helping, who was actually helping many big companies negotiate multi-billion dollar deals says, hey, you know what, when you are trying to negotiate and try to make a sale happen, you have to separate the people from the problem. The problem is, hey, this product keeps on failing it keeps breaking down and it is actually a product issue not necessarily the people that are making a decision on that and if you so get if you are so upset with the person that you are dealing with then you may not be able to see past that okay so that's why they are saying we have to separate people from problem and the next suggestion is focus on interest what are you trying to accomplish what is the customer trying to accomplish and how you can come to a common conclusion not on positions where you are in your thinking right now where you are within your company yes the position will affect you but how you can move from that position into a common understanding so that can also help you when it comes to negotiation so that you can overcome the objections and also another suggestion is invent options for mutual good it is good for you it's good for the other person so both the people are benefited so that is also a really good thing and it has to be mutually good it has to be create win-win situation as you can see here again negotiation is a multi-step process as you can see here uh, six steps first you are agreeing to negotiate okay even the negotiation starts with an agreement to negotiate and then you gather different points of view and you are separating the people from the problem as I told you there and focus on interest and that is what we just saw that focus on interest not on the positions that we won't pay this much money yeah they don't want to pay that much money but then if they are going to get a lot more value maybe you may be able to convince them to pay that much money and uh, you will be able to accomplish that by focusing on what you are trying to achieve that is interest and in invent options for mutual good mutual good is what we call win-win options okay so remember that and evaluate various options and see where you can come to an agreement and that is how you come to an agreement that is how negotiation should go now all the negotiations go like that not necessarily but that is a very good starting point for you to think about negotiations okay insist on objective criteria now you feel like this machine can run really fast you are selling this machine and you feel like it and whereas the customer says no 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 we have already tried it many times it hasn't worked now that customer may not like your product or you personally uh, but then you can always say you know what let's forget what I have to say and what you have to say let's look at the data and now when you go for the data that data is going to be objective because the data was um, say obtained or it was out of a research study that was conducted in Ohio State University or somewhere else which is very reputable which is very trustable trustworthy so maybe that will also help you uh, overcome some of the objections that the people might have okay so the thing is you have to think about win-win situations and uh, you have to think about interests and how you can come to a common good for you as well as the customer so these are all the important things when it comes to negotiations okay and there are a few other videos that I would encourage you to watch as usual you don't have to watch all the videos but watch at least a few okay in the next video clip I will talk a little bit about various negotiation strategies and the facial expressions and things like that we have already covered a bunch uh, but it's always nice to revisit and reinforce these concepts in our minds okay thank you